Om Shanti and welcome back. We are doing yesterday's recording right now. Couldn't take out time for yesterday's blessings recording. So we are going ahead with 25th of October is first and then we will go ahead with 26th of October. So let's see what does Supreme Father have to say. Supreme Father says, may you be a master and a child. So we should know when to be a master and guide others and dictate terms. And when to be a child, when to back up. That means when to back down upon our choices or our suggestions which we make and this also pertains to how to be a master and a child when we have to learn certain things in our life through experiences so god says may you be a master and a child and stay constantly full by sharing and increasing all your treasures so sharing and increasing all your treasures so father says the father has given all of you children treasures equally now we are doing this spiritual study on a daily basis where we get to know how to keep the mind stable, how to keep our feelings stable, how to face situations, how to behave, how to create new, beautiful, pleasant karmic accounts so that we are less burdened by karma or you can say negative karma or impure karma. So God that's why has given us the treasures equally and made you into masters of the treasures. All of you have received equal treasures. We all have received equal treasures. But if one of you is not full, the reason for that is you don't know how to look after and increase your treasures. Now, how do we look after and increase our treasures? That is something which Supreme Father is saying that the only way to increase your treasure is to distribute it. Now, in the worldly sense, if you distribute money, it reduces, right? But God says over here that if you distribute this knowledge, it only increases multifold. Then Supreme Father says, all of, you, all of you have received equal treasures, but if one of you is not full, the reason for that is you don't know how to look after and increase your treasures. So there's a method of doing that. What is it? The way to increase them is to share them and the way to look after them is to check them constantly. Anytime we are feeling sad, anytime we are feeling low, anytime there is a mood off, anytime there is any form of ill feeling, it can be felt in all of these chakras or the energy centers or I would say the feeling centers. And these feeling centers are your feedback system and they tell you something is wrong somewhere. What you're thinking and what you're feeling right now is not in sync. So change it. So God then says, the way to increase them is to share them and the way to look after them is to check them constantly. We have to check which feeling center is down and which feeling center needs which knowledge or which treasure of knowledge or which points of wisdom so that we feel constantly stable in all these feeling centers. So these feeling centers are purity, power, constant contentment or happiness. Then you come up, you have the love center, then you have the peace center, the wisdom center and the bliss center. So these are all centers which are telling you what you're feeling right now. And for every center, there is knowledge. Till the time we are in this body, we can sense that. We can feel and this is the beautiful time to be in this body. Be lucky, be blessed in this body. That yes, I am in this body and I can read, I can learn this beautiful knowledge so as to make and to fine tune my feeling centers. Whether it's a feeling center of power, whether it's a feeling center of love, whether it's a feeling center of peace, whether it's a feeling center of wisdom, whatever it is, we have a chance right now to do it. It's now or never. God then says, the way to increase them is to share them and the way to look after them is to check them constantly. When the guards of both attention and checking are working well, you're attentive, something I'm feeling low about, some mood is going down, you are attentive and you're checking it of both attention and checking are working well your treasure will remain constantly safe otherwise if you spend a lot of time feeling hatred that feeling center is not working well 
or if you're feeling a lot of time or for a very long period of time you're feeling powerless then that feeling center is not working well and if we don't keep it guarded then a different program starts running in our feeling centers a different program starts a different application starts and starts taking over and that's what we have to check that it should not take over at all otherwise it's going to be a permanent virus in our feeling centers how do you do that that's what you learn in our saturday sessions which we take on every saturday from 5 pm to 6 30 pm and also you can go ahead if you have a brahma kumari center close by to you you can join that center and learn that knowledge for free with this om shanti